And I'm, I, I'm amazed that she's uh, been brave enough to take me on. <laughs> and I suppose in love. Of course. <laughs> Whatever in love means. <laughs> Well, it you obviously, can put your means, own interpretation. Uh, obviously means two very happy people. Yes, well, once again, congratulations. Well, from us, congratulations. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. Very kind. Could I ask you first, Your Royal Highness, and you, Lady Diana, what do you think you've got in common? Chris, what a difficult question. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think we've got in common? Sense of humour. Um, every act or activity. Except I don't ride. Um, Should remedy that. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of things, really. What about you, sir? Um, no, I think uh, certainly. I mean, all sorts of things. It's certainly, the a sort of a love of the outdoors, and you know, she's a very energetic character as well, mm. which is which is very encouraging. And uh, music and and uh, interests like that, and skiing. Great skier. I haven't seen her skiing yet. Is she better than you? Uh, well, I don't know, but uh, I mean, my philosophy is to just go down the hill as fast as I can, and I'm sure yours is too, isn't it? I never turn. <laughs> it must have been a tremendous strain over the past few months for you, and now all of a sudden you can come and stand here in front of the cameras hand in hand. Uh, has it been a strain trying to carry out a courtship without anyone knowing? What do you think? Yes, it has, but I think anyone in the position we've been in would feel the pressure and everything. But it's been worthwhile, every bit of it. Of course, you're, you, Prince has been in this position all his life. It was something that was entirely new to you, of course. Yes, but I hope I coped all right. I'm still around, anyway. I think everyone's <laughs> full of admiration for the way you did cope, if I may say so. <laughs> what about the proposal, Your Royal Highness? How did that come about? Um, well, I, uh, I asked uh, Diana before she went to Australia, two or three days before, because I thought it would be a good idea that... Uh, Apart from anything else, if she went to Australia, she could then think about it. And if she didn't like the idea, she could uh, say she didn't. Or if she did, she, she could say that. But in fact, you, you actually said... Yes, quite yes, promptly. <laughs> Before you went to Australia? Yes. And then we had to sit on it for three weeks. Mm. Must have been an agonising three weeks. Did you, uh, did you speak at all? I mean, the phone lines must have been pretty busy between <laughs> here and Australia. Yes, we tried. But it, it was quite difficult because uh, I think there was a certain amount of press interest there. Although they never actually found you, did they? Yeah. No. But I rang up uh, on one occasion and um, I said, uh, can I speak? And they said, no, we're not taking any calls. So I said, well, is the Prince of Wales speaking? How do I know it's the Prince of Wales came back to reply? <laughs> <laughs> so I said, well, you, you don't, but I am in a little rage. <laughs> and uh, I mean, eventually I, I got the number because they were staying somewhere else. But uh, they said, oh, the phones are tapped or something, which I found highly unlikely. <laughs> do you find it a very daunting experience that uh, yesterday you were a nanny looking after children. Um, now you're about to uh, marry the Prince of Wales and, and one day you would in all likelihood be queen. It's a tremendous change for someone, if I may say, of 19 to make all of a sudden, a transition. It is, but I've had a small run up to it all in the last six months. <laughs> and next to Prince Charles and I can't go wrong. He's there with me. You, you, are you planning for the future? You must be planning for the future, where you're going to live and this sort of thing. You talk oh, about yes, that? yes, yes. I mean, I've got uh, this house in Gloucestershire, which I acquired uh, last year. With marriage in mind? No, no, not really. I mean, I, I did want somewhere very much as a base, and uh, I wanted somewhere which was nearer to uh, the Duchy of Cornwall areas that I could reach then and visit people and look at the farms and things. And um, so that was very convenient. But obviously, um, it's, it's been a great help. Uh, there's a lot to be done. It's going to be marvellous to, to have somebody to, to help sort it out. As Lady and, Diana's father that? described her this morning, as uh, he said he thought she'd make a very good housewife. Well, I thought <laughs> he said that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've yet to see. <laughs> but, uh, can you take us back to when you first met? If you um, can remember, can you remember yes, when you first met? Yes, yes, certainly can. It was 1977 that Charles came to stay as a friend of my sister Sarah's at, for a shoot. We sort of met in a ploughed field. <laughs> slightly what, previous to that, but I knew. <laughs> and what did, you th what did you think then? What was your instant impression, both of you? What did well, you think I, about Lady Diana? Well, I remember thinking what a very jolly and amusing and, and attractive 16 year old she was. 
and having great fun mm. and bouncy and full of life and everything. And um, um, I don't know what you thought of me. But Pretty amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Did it cross either of your minds that um, in three years' time you would be announcing your engagement, thinking of being not married? No. 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 Not at all. Well, at what but point too. did you decide that um, this was the right, the right lady for you? I mean, well, um, gradually. I, mean, I suppose towards the end of the summer and the autumn last year, and uh, I began to realise, you know, what uh, was going on in my mind and, and, and hers in particular, and uh, all these things help. But uh, you know, it was a gradual business. Did you find it a very hard decision, Lady Diana? I had a long time to think about it, because I knew the pressure was on, both of us. And um, well, it wasn't a difficult decision in the end. It's what I wanted. It's what I want. And I yeah, haven't, uh, haven't seen the ring, maybe? Have a look at you. Yes. Uh, is it? Wonderful sapphire and diamond. When, so when were you given that? Uh, just last night? Or? No, Sunday. Ah. And, but not wearing it? No. Yesterday, no. Hidden. Hidden. <laughs> and when did you when did you tell the Queen that this was what you wanted to do? Well, about three weeks ago. So, um, as I say, we've had to sit on it and hide it for three weeks, which hasn't been all that easy. Mm. But I was absolutely determined that it was going to be uh, as near a secret as possible on the actual day. That was my ambition. But you're both obviously excited, and, but it must be awfully difficult trying to keep that secret. Yes. Very good for us. And very good for <laughs> I mean, good practice. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and good for the people we told to. Mm. Quite interesting to see who can keep secrets. But it did. <laughs> yes. But it did pop up in the Times this morning. Yes. Yes. yes someone. Uh, someone talked to the right newspaper. <laughs> what they call the top people's newspaper. <laughs> no. Uh, no announcement yet of uh, where and when. Um, do you mean the, the, the actual wedding? Yes. Uh, no, because. Uh, it was a lot to be decided, but yeah. when is, is um, probably in the latter half of July, I should think. It's, it's I think, quite a useful time mm. from all sorts of different reasons. Yeah. And uh, the actual place um, will be decided. Honeymoon plans, or is that something you have to talk about uh, now it's official? Well, I mean, we've had vague discussions about it, but it's a lot depends on, you know, what happens now. There are lots of different uh, yeah. alternatives. And the difficulty is to go somewhere where I can actually get away from everything else. <laughs> yes. The rest of the family have had that experience in the past. Yes, yes, yes. But that, that'll come you know, in, in yes. before yes. long. Because now having um, agonised, if you like, puzzled over it and decided, you're now going to be separated again because you're going to Australia, New yes. Zealand. Yes. And you'll be away, what, five, six weeks? Like that. Yes. What are you going to do in the meantime? Oh, don't worry, Ash, we're very busy. <laughs> but not back to the nursery and not back, no. sh not, mm. not back to flat sharing, presumably. Nope. So. You've uh, moved to your accommodation. I've been moving all over the place, I think. Trying to keep away from us. <laughs> Possibly, <laughs> yes. <laughs> but you, you, uh, you sort of made a little grimace there as if you rather liked flat sharing, and that is something. No, I was up. referring to the children. Mm. You miss them. You miss, you miss looking after the yes. children. Yes. Mm. Well, they certainly miss you, won't they? I hope so. Have you been to see them at all? <laughs> no, I haven't been to see them. No. I think that'd be. Uh, a bit, a bit of a giveaway. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yes, I mean, you know, the moment you appear anyway, then people automatically jump to conclusions. Yes. Well, now you can appear in public. Yes. It must be a great yes. relief to you. But it is rather, yes. yes. Yeah. Has the. Uh, Awfully sorry, Terry. Can I change the sounds? Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. Can I? You find it a strange thing to walk out and hand on onto, the the onto the terrace there and find photographers waiting and know that uh, you're doing the right thing. You don't have to run and hide. Well, I, mean, I thought it would, but it, 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 it didn't really in the end. Mm. Everyone can turn their attention now to uh, younger members of the family. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Love to hear that. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Are we back in business again? Mm -hmm. yeah, oh, yeah. Mm. And, and, you're, you're and we're winding up. And we're winding up. Yes, quite. Are you both rolling? Um, yes, yes, okay. Can you I think all I was really going to say is can you, can you find the words to sum up how you feel today, both of you? Difficult to find the right mm. sort of words, isn't it, really? Just delighted and, and happy. And I, I, I'm amazed that she's uh, been brave enough to take me on. <laughs> and I suppose in love. Of course. <laughs> Whatever in love means. Yes. So. Well, it you obviously, put your means, own interpretation uh, obviously means two very happy people. Yes. Well, from us, congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.